Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Indeed, another 50 points to Team Fire and a very successful game with them on the Assassins. Let's take a look at what happened, because Reckless, beforehand you said that there would be different dynamics in play than in the Marksman mode. What did you make of it? There was a lot of snowballing. Yeah, as Quickshot just stated, I think uh, Meteos did a really good job of helping out uh, Faker and Ole in the bot lane. I mean, their matchup to going, going into things was quite hard. I mean, they were playing against a set and a Blanc who is in general a pretty good poke lane, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> meanwhile, Rengar and Shaco can't really do anything outside of all inning. So I think Meteos did a really good job of helping them out down there and uh, making sure, as uh, Quickshot said, getting Faker ahead and then he could just steamroll with that ultimate. Yeah, the difference in jungler's early game was huge. The Evelyn didn't do anything at all, and Meteos was all over the place. Getting the assassins ahead, as I said, it's a snowballing mode. You get assassins ahead, then everyone gets assassins. It's his tournament, man. Meteos on the Kindred yesterday, now bring in the back. Bring, bring it back. back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll Meteos see. has been playing pretty well this tournament, actually. And it's, I mean, it's surprising when you don't see a player playing in a team, and then he just comes up and pretty much outplays everyone who does, so yeah. He's it's been definitely training in the North American solo queue, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you'd expect yeah. it any less? <laughs> yeah. We haven't been playing in a solo queue as well, and... Uh, ah, yeah. that's the secret to your team's success. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he's a master tier, and I'm still trolling in Diamond 5, so, <laughs> so there's that, but... In this game, there was like so much snowball that once Faker and... Um, wait, who was he leaning with? Ole. Oh, Ole, yeah. Well, once they got like one kill in that... Uh, two kills in that uh, gank, they just killed them again and again, and then... Things got worse. Yeah, and on top of that, Westor again had a great game. Let's take a look at uh, one of his finest moments. Get that replay up. It wasn't a pentakill, but it was still flashy. Yeah, it was quick. Home guard in there. <laughs> Forced the Zonias really fast. Uh, comes down at the perfect time. He's so far ahead at this point. So not only do you see all the kills, and look, he's so far ahead of them in experience, uh, but he got to farm. He was the, like the only person in the game who got to farm up on the top side. Uh, and that burst damage there to yeah. finish off the 1v3 triple kill. Yeah, very serious. Farming in the top lane and coming back and then Froggen with the, the flashy moves, avoiding the fish, but then sending Kissing to a certain death. <laughs> that might have been my favorite play. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, well, in any case, that means that that's one more game left to play. And with these points, Fire now pulls ahead even more over Ice, 550 over 450. <sighs> Coach, Coach Ice, what's <laughs> going on? It's not, not too great here, here but... Uh... If we win the 1-1 one, one tournament, mm -hmm. how many points do we have? One. You uh, have frog. Well, yeah, we have frog. Oh, you get the 1v1 uh, is 150, 150 points. points. Yeah. yeah. So when we win that tournament, we are ahead. Well, yeah. If you <laughs> if you win, that's 150 no, points. No. But there's yeah. also 100 win. for the other three. What you need so to do is win uh, the best of three at yeah, the end, the sure. five on five. That enough. was 300 points, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, so if we were to win that, then we would actually win the whole thing, yeah. right? Probably. So you so have everything the power is on us now. Yeah, everything is on us now. So no pressure, but you have to win. Yeah, but we have you, so it's okay. Yeah. We have Coach Nils. Yeah. You heard that? You we're have to win good. everything. Chill. No problem. Well, we're going to step away for a quick break, but we'll be right back to set up our final game of the day. North America's LCS versus China's LPL. 2015 All-Star coverage continues right after this. We go Jetbot with Biblablan. And we win, okay? Okay. You can split push too, and we have good uh, wave clear. Nice. <laughs> Our team looks so bad. <laughs> nice team. Kissing with the teleport. Oh, Faker. Faker flashes away from the damage, and now Meteos and Faker. It's the Cougar. Oh, what is not invisible? Evelyn's trying to run. The oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Assassin mode. 